beautiful scenery. And uh, so we're coming up on White River Junction here in a little bit. Uh, we're gonna try to catch Amtrak, I believe it's number 55, the Vermonter, which is gonna be coming into White River Junction. Uh, we missed them at Waterbury and Montpelier, but they have to go a crazy way down south and we kind of go straight there so we should be able to catch them maybe we'll catch a down easter in new hampshire on the way to maine maybe not we'll see uh and then on to waterville maine and you know what's there pan am all over the place so we'll see what we get stay tuned coming up we're here in white river junction vermont yeah vermont we're right on the border with new hampshire though we got Washington County 202 tied down here with GMTX 2617. Looks like they're uh, on the current switching duty. Not doing much right now though. Trains everywhere. There's a little, uh, I don't know what kind of office that is. Stations right here. Underneath this um, shelter you have a B&M 440 and a very nice wooden caboose. Lots of cool stuff here. Amtrak's coming in in about 15 minutes. I'm gonna check some of this stuff out. Here we have a very nice Boston and Maine wood-sided caboose. Really surprisingly good condition. It's not in a, in a building or anything, just under this platform. And of course the Boston and Maine 440, 494. So you can go right up here. This is very cool, I had no idea this was here tender oh look there's another uh, 437 and here's the inside of the locomotive it's honestly not a bad place to shoot the Amtrak coming in lots of good photo opportunity here I'm gonna have to see what I want to do Manchester locomotive works 1892 Here's a New England Central, 437. Looks like it could really use a new coat of paint. Hopefully though, they paint it in uh, the original New England Central colors and not Genesee and Wyoming. Looks like the handle is a little bent there. I don't know what happened, but interesting. Down here we have some ballast cars. This track right here, close track to me is the main line. Pretty good turnout. Lots of people waiting to ride the train. Second day of Vermont service. There goes the second southbound Amtrak Vermonter since before COVID in March 2020. All right, so we're here at the beach in Wells. Um, well, we're not at the beach yet, we're in the parking lot, but I am desperately trying to fix my scanner, which is not working. <sighs> There's a bug. It is not working right now, and it is this connection right here that I've had problems with before. Coming in right now, but I'm not sure if I put it back together what will happen. So 
I really hope I can get this working because this is really my only hope for rail sanding around here because Pan Am does everything over the radio. They have very few signals and there's no active Facebook community or anything. So right now I think it's time to enjoy the beach. That was a close catch here on the dump station road in Wells. That's not actually what it's called, but it goes to the dump station. Nice mechanical bells. Willie Hill Road. There they go towards the station. No freight on the siding today. I was hoping for a POED, but looks like not right now. I think we're probably gonna go grab some dinner and maybe head back to see if POED is gonna show up. I didn't hear uh, anything on POAY today, so maybe they didn't run that yet either, but we'll see. Well, I said we might be back, and we are back at the Wells Transportation Center, aka the train station, and we have two Amtrak's coming. It's about 6.55 p.m. First Amtrak's coming in from the south destination Brunswick. They will be meeting with the southbound to Boston, so we're going to catch those here in just a couple minutes, then on to Waterville. the northbound on the main the southbound's waiting on the siding as soon as they clear southbound will pull in Onward to Waterville. 